I've been asked this question a couple of times now about what is the best air pump. And the best air pump for me is not gonna be the best air pump for you. If I have say 50 tanks, I'm gonna need a lot larger air pump than what you're going to need if you have one to two, three, four tanks. But I'm gonna speak to you guys in that one to four range about what the best air pump is, especially if you're looking at running box filters or sponge filters or hang on back filters or breeder boxes or things of that nature or air stones. And you're trying to figure out what air pump will allow me to run multiple of these in my tanks without having to get multiple air pumps. And when it comes down to that situation and that particular question, I think that the Tetra series, the Tetra Whisper series is gonna be a very good air pump for you in that situation. So I have the box of it here because I'm actually using my Tetra Whisper 100 in my rack fish room tank setup. And we'll go look at that. But I just wanna sort of talk about why I like this and why it is a very good air pump in my opinion. When it comes to air pumps, one of the first things that we're gonna be thinking about is noise. And this air pump is very quiet. I have it in a bedroom and it's not very loud at all. And it's, it's something that people have slept in there before and haven't said any issues about it being too loud or too noisy or any of the it's rattling type of things that you get with some of the other air pumps out there. So when it comes to having an air pump in a, a place like a common place like this or in a bedroom, having something that is quiet is very important. And I think that the Tetra Whisper 100 does a very good job. And I'll we'll actually go in there now and I'll show you guys what it looks like so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about. Here is the Tetra Whisper 100 in action. It has two air drop downs here and right next to it is actually its smaller brother, the Tetra 40. And this has only one air output from it. And originally I used this guy to power my singular five gallon tank and my 40 gallon breeder. But as I've obviously grown out tanks, I've needed a large air pump. So I went ahead and got the Whisper and it's been running for a year now and has worked fantastically and I haven't had any issues with it. And so those three lines here are powering all of my air needs here. You might be wondering how am I taking three lines up here and using it for a lot more than three lines down here? And that's a great question. The way that I do it is by using a gang valve or a splitter back here that takes the output of the filter. So one of them comes into here and then it gets split four ways and I have three of these. So I'm able to split those three lines into 12 lines and I can control the amount of air that comes out of each one of these at the individual tank level. So that way I don't have to have an air pump that is adjustable anymore. I rather adjust it at each individual tank. Additionally, if I had only three tanks here, I don't need to get an air pump for this one, an air pump for this one, an air pump for this one. I could get a singular air pump that comes into here and splits three ways into these three tanks. And I'd be able to have one air pump for three tanks, which is a much better option than having three air pumps for three tanks, because it's just an overkill. You don't need that much filtration power. So like there's one sponge filter running. You can't see the other sponge filter back through there, but you can see the other sponge filter through there. And then the breeder box, they're all running off of that singular split there. And that's how it's also happening down here or all those other airlines that you see are coming from splitters just like this one. If you're worried about the volume of the actual air pumps in your tanks, if you're thinking about having them in your bedroom or in areas you don't want a lot of volume, the best thing that you're going to do is have a air stone that is very, very fine. The finer the bubbles, the quieter they're going to be. The larger the bubbles, the louder it's going to be. So this here is a relatively coarse air stone and the bubbles are a lot larger, so they're a lot louder. This is a relatively smaller air stone and the bubbles coming out of this one are smaller and in turn, the noise level is smaller. The loudest you're going to have is when you have airline that is just coming straight in and just going straight up. There is no air stone on this whatsoever. So this here, when it breaks here, is gonna be the loudest out of all because there's no diffusion of it. It's just raw air. So if you're trying to have a very quiet fish room, you're going to want to have, or quiet fish tank, you're going to want to have as fine of bubbles as you can possibly get to minimize the amount of volume within the tanks. If you guys need help on how to install an air pump, I'll leave that video up here and it will explain why I have my air pump up here rather than anywhere else on my racking system. With that, I'll see you over in that video and I hope you guys have a blessed day. See ya.